Hi, I'm Radiance. Thank you for joining me. Now, usually in this space, you'd find me, well, not in this space, but in my kitchen, um, bringing you foodie-inspired, delicious, simplistic, um, good-for-you recipes. Excuse me. But today we're going to have another conversation. Um, and I want to share some food insights <laughs> um, outside the kitchen with some recommendations that I think would be helpful. So join me on giving you some recommendations for some, you know, no cook vegan uh, recipes or meals. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is something that um, has become very popular. I, I, I only wanna say that now. I remember years ago, like at least 10 plus years ago, when I, you know, like first at one point, like intentionally went vegan. I did it for a year. And um, I saw, like I was big on oatmeal. And at the time, overnight oats were a big thing. Everyone was doing it on the internet. You know, stores were selling it. You know, you have companies. I, mean, I still see them on the shelf. Um, but overnight oats, you know, was a big thing. So that's a suggestion. Um, if you want to have something that you can make the night before or make ahead of time and kind of batch make and, you know, have as a breakfast or have as like a after workout snack, Overnight oats are good. Um, maybe do like a berry type of overnight oat, right? Um, maybe you want to do some kind of cinnamon, you know, and like banana. Um, you know, I've seen so many flavors of overnight oats, um, pumpkin and uh, Oreo and all kind of different <laughs> variations, but um, maybe keep it simple and healthy with some berries and some nuts, you know, um, and that would be something I'd recommend. Um, the other thing that was very popular for some time, and I still think it's popular, um, were smoothie bowls, right? Um, I remember, I don't remember the channel right now, I don't know if it's on here or another another um, site, but I remember seeing like these girls that were doing these like bowls and, you know, they'd mash up like all this fruit and they'd had the coconut shell bowls, which to me are so, so cute. Um, and I purchased them at the time because of that. And they would layer these like smoothie bowls and, you know, put something like cacao nibs and nuts and, you know, like toasted or raw unsweetened, you know, shredded coconut, um, you know, and hemp seeds and, and, and all these delicious things and even granola. And so that's an idea. You know, a smoothie bowl can be kind of a dessert, like a healthier dessert or a snack or maybe, you know, a breakfast. So that's an idea. Like, you know, do something like that. Um, how about like hummus? Now, I am a big fan of red pepper hummus. Um, I like the slight variation. Um, for some reason to me, it's like flavorful and smoky and creamy, um, but you can do regular hummus, right? And I discussed in a previous video where I talked about, you know, you can use chickpeas to make falafel. Um, you can also do the same thing with chickpeas that are dried. But I just, in the previous video I mentioned, if you're going to do it from a dried form, just be aware that it's going to take some work. And once you soak them overnight, you still have to cook them and it takes a while. Just letting you know. Um, so I'm not saying I wouldn't recommend it because I like to make things from scratch. Um, but if you want kind of quick and easy, get it in a can, call it a day. Um, or if you touch a pack if you can find it. So roasted pepper hummus, um, red hummus, uh, red, red hummus, <laughs> regular hummus. And maybe do like a hummus salad or like a hummus sandwich. I think that would be, you know, kind of good, right? That, that would be something. And of course, salads. Um, now, that's kind of like a... I don't want to say a cop out, but salads to me are so easy. But how about mix it up? Like, what are some of your favorite things? You know, um, it may not be summertime when I'm making this video, but in the summertime, I love to do like a fruit salad. I'll do like red pear. I'll do raspberries, blueberries, strawberries. I'll do peach and I'll, you know, pair it. I'll do like maybe cilantro or basil, like fresh herbs and I'll pair it with like a romaine lettuce. I'll shred it up, you know, and that's the salad I'll eat. Um, on the flip side, you can do like a sweet corn and cabbage salad. How about that? That would be good, right? Maybe, you know, do a smoky type of cabbage, like you with paprika and um, maybe like some caramelized onions and toss in some sweet corn in there. I think that would be like, you know, a phenomenal, you know, thing to do. Um, what else? You can do, um, 
tofu. Like take tofu. Now I know tofu is sometimes not people's favorite. Um, but the thing about tofu is tofu is a blank canvas. You can pretty much add any flavor to tofu and it's going to take on whatever you give it, right? So I've like a tofu egg salad sandwich. Um, now, I'm going to say this. I am not a fan of egg salad sandwich in its regular form. Um, but maybe in the tofu form, it'd be a little different. Not sure. Maybe I'll try that out. I just figured it was a suggestion because I, I came across it. It seemed like a popular recipe. And, um, you know, if, you, if you're missing those eggs, if you're missing that egg taste, maybe it could be a way to go. Who knows? But do that. And I would say the same thing for, like, using chickpeas as well. Chickpeas can be a blank canvas. I told you I like to curry them. I mentioned that before, and I had the recipe on the channel. But maybe taking, like, um, so there's two ways you can do it. Maybe taking chickpeas, coating them in oil, flavoring them, flavor, flavoring, blah, 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 flavoring them up um, in whatever seasons you like and baking or toasting them and making them kind of like crispy and tossing those in the salad or using that in a wrap or unless you want to just like stew them as opposed to like baking them and making them crispy. Maybe they can be like a soft savory and put it in a lettuce wrap. Like you ever go to a restaurant, um, I forgot the name right now, but where they have like sometimes chicken or they'll have like a tofu um, and it's like an Asian style, you know, and you take, they give you the lettuce cups all kind of cut up. So try that maybe with chickpeas. Take lettuce, you know, pieces of romaine and, you know, have some strips of maybe veggies, maybe some strips of carrot or some peppers and onions and add the chickpeas to that that are stewed or maybe the crunchy ones you made. And I think that would be a really, really great meal. Like that would be, yeah, that would be a good meal. Um, so I mentioned this actually, I believe in my no make dessert, no bake, no make you better make it no fake dessert but uh once again i would suggest chia chia seed pudding like chia seed pudding is amazing it's amazing it's amazing um it's light you know it takes a few minutes to set up you know you just kind of basically mix the chia seeds they get kind of gelatinous and gelatin like you know you mix it up with some like you know sweetener um and of choice and some vanilla and some milk you know maybe you want to throw in some cinnamon in there and you know put it in a, put it in a mason jar like put all that stuff in a mason jar you kind of shake it up a little bit you know stir it up a little bit put it in the refrigerator let it set up you know for a few um, i don't remember how long it takes but it doesn't take very long and take it out or you wait till the next morning and you have like a chia seed pudding you know and you know i would say that that's something that you can maybe you know put like you know, pair with some fresh fruit, right? Um, ultimately, what I would also suggest, you know, which is probably the most simplistic thing you can do is eat some fresh fruit. Eat some fresh fruit. Now, um, I think I've discussed this before, but I've talked about fruit salad and how fruit salad um, on the surface looks good. But when it comes to a science called food combining, which I'm not very strict on, but I've, I've studied, um, sometimes putting certain kind of fruits together um, causes, you know, like the acids in your stomach to kind of like go crazy. Um, and sometimes you don't feel so well. And it's sometimes because of food combining, it's what you pair your foods with. Um, so, you know, some things you want to eat by themselves, like you want to eat melons, melons by themselves. Um, watermelons and cantaloupe and honeydew, you want to eat those things by themselves. Apples pair so well with pretty much um, lots of fruits and vegetables. Um, I'm not the expert, but if you want to look into it, just go ahead and Google or look around on, um, you know, food combining and you'll see it. I tried it a couple times and it was very interesting. I want to get into it more. Um, but, you know, it can tell you like what fruits and vegetables pair together. You know, what's an acid and what's a sub acid and what's not. Um, and it's a very interesting science to look into if you get a chance, you know, so. I do hope this, this video was helpful. Um, I just want to give you some suggestions and I will be, you know, featuring and, and tapping into some of these recipes if I haven't already on the channel. Um, so if you liked this video and it was helpful, please like and give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to get more insights like these um, and also to like look into these recipes that will be coming. And also click the link in my bio and join my free VIP group 
come on over. You'll get more insights. You'll get more recipe details, um, giveaways, fun, discussions. Just come join the community, you know, and, and, and come have some foodie fun and inspiration. So thank you so much for joining me. You have a wonderful one, and I will see you next time.